If you're looking for a new ceramic supplier, or even thinking about ceramic components, then I have a secret for you. I do. Would you like to know the way to save money? We've done it for customers in the saw business. We've done it for customers in the, in the laser business. We've done it for people in the semiconductor business. Ion implant equipment. We've also done it for companies that are in mass spectrometry. So this component goes into a windmill. Big windmills moving slowly. But did you know that at the very tip of those blades, blades are circulating at about 160 miles per hour. And you can imagine the stress on the parts taking all of that responsibility of moving those blades around. The customer said that they were using a bearing that was made of a metal and it was wearing out very quickly. It's about a three month period of time. We manufactured the same bearing in ceramics and it has since last over five years. So basically there are four reasons that you would use ceramic components. Wear resistance, high temperature. Or you need electrical uh, insulation, uh, chemical resistance, Ceramics, sometimes your last resort, but the best solution. Hi, my name is Jay Higgins. I'm the owner and president of International Ceramic, and it's a family-owned business I own with my brother. It started out as, a, as my father having a business in the basement. We've been in business uh, just under 35 years now. We started in 1987. One of the things that, that we really bring to the table is that we're not afraid to try new challenges. We have a tendency to tackle the tougher parts and uh, we're, we're very good at what we do. So there's a number of different manufacturing processes that we would employ depending on the end product. Sometimes if we just have a basic tube, then we can extrude it. Uh, if it's a very simple, small part, we can dry press. There's also a number of different ways to machine plates and balls and substrates and things of that nature. Also casting is another uh, way to manufacture ceramics. Well, we think we're very good at making complex shapes and we're also good at engineering out costs. If you were looking to have ceramics made, uh, very often you would find that a lot of companies would start with a block and then they would hard grind all of these features. It would take a significant amount of time to abrade away the fully dense material. So diamond wheels and drills are used and it's very labor intensive and very costly. That's primarily how most ceramic houses do it. The way to save money and get your parts faster is to machine it green. Here at International Ceramics, we machine it green. The way to save money in the ceramic industry it is to machine it green. What is machining green, you ask? We believe in machining before centering. Uh, green machining means that you're machining ceramic parts in the unfired state. We're able to put the features, your important features, into these ceramic components before the components are sintered, before they become fully dense. Some of the features you can install during green machining are sometimes only possible while green. You can remove a lot more material in the green state. You can remove hundreds of thousands where if you have to diamond grind it, you're removing half a thousand. So after it's fired and it comes out, we don't have to do any post-fire machining, which really is where the cost is in the component. When we're green machining, we can turn parts, mill parts, surface grind parts very quickly and remove that material. Traditional drills and mills that you see in everyday metals machining can only be used in the green state. When you're in the hard state, specialty diamond tools are required. The drill, once, once ceramic is fired, will just disintegrate when, when you press it against a ceramic part. We have additional complexities added because there's different linear shrinkage to radial shrinkage, which makes it even more difficult, but we're able to do it. When we're machining these pieces, they have to be about 17% bigger because they shrink uh, in the kiln. Here's a fantastic example of what I mean by machining it green. This is a green part that's been machined before sintering. We calculate out the shrinkage rate and we fire the component in our kiln. There are many companies that don't have this technique, this capability or the knowledge to be able to green machine the way that we do um, and have components come out of the kiln complete. Generally the engineers have a good idea that they need ceramics. They don't obviously know what ceramics they need and that's why we're here to help them. We do 
uh, help with product design as well as applications engineering. We're willing to take those more difficult challenges. If they have a print, we work with them on trying to say, uh, if you do it a little bit differently here, you can reduce the cost. And then we work together to figure out what material works best for them, and then we start with the design process, um, trying to save them money right away on making a component that we can green grind in uh, near net shape, so when it comes out of the furnace, it's almost completed. Probably the smartest thing that an engineering group can do is get us involved early in the process. Prototyping? Sure, we love prototyping. What International Ceramics does that is so different from almost all the other ceramic manufacturers is we encourage prototyping. So when we prototype with a customer, we prefer to work with the engineer on the design process right away. It gives us an opportunity to work together and build a relationship not only for the component, but for components down the road. We're not worried about one piece, three piece, five piece orders. We're here to help you with material selection, design ideas, and a manufacturable component in the end. We want to get your project off the ground. And it's an actual part. It's not a 3D printed part. The part has been pressed from powder, green machined, sintered, and post-fire ground to your tolerances. So basically, you're assured that that is the exact part you're going to get when we roll to production. Generally, if you go through the prototyping uh, process with them and you help them design it, they'll be loyal to you and give you the business because you've helped them save money. A great jumping off point for your prototype projects would be a thought exchange. We invite any of our customers to do a thought exchange with us. More than happy to share ideas, give you ideas for your components. And it's not quite a seminar because that's a one-way street. A thought exchange is a collaboration. It goes both ways. Collaboration is the way to go. We are a very close-knit company. The people that work here are dedicated, they're intelligent, they're driven, they're passionate about what they do. And that's why we've been doing this for all of these years. These are craftsmen. The machinists that we have here are extremely skilled and the average amount of time that they've been here is about 15 years. They're part of the family. I love doing what I'm doing. I love when I get a blank piece from the green area. I love programming it. I love holding that finished part. When it comes to making ceramic components, materials really matter. So we have a system in place that will trace the powder all the way through to production and shipment of your component, and then we will certify that material to make sure that you have what you have ordered. And most ceramics are um, at, at least three times harder than steel. So aluminum oxide is used mainly for high temperature, wear resistance, and for chemical attack. It answers and solves a lot of problems. It's economical and it can move through our shop relatively quickly because of the abundance of orders we have for that material. Anybody that's listened to my spiel will tell you that I call alumina kind of the vanilla of ceramic materials. It serves a lot of purposes, it does a lot of different things, and it's kind of a really good place to start. Boron nitride is used under vacuum. It can reach temperatures up to 3,000 degrees C, and it's used for filament insulation most of the time. Zirconia has very excellent fracture toughness and is excellent in pump components, things where you're seeing cavitation or vibration. It has higher strength than alumina. It also has much higher density and it's much heavier material. Zirconia is a very strong material. It's used for blade edges and for its wear resistance. Steatite is a material that can be used uh, primarily for electrical isolation purposes. Macor is a machinable glass. Macor is a great material to use if you're prototyping components. It can be conventionally tooled and you can get your components in about two to four weeks. Sometimes International Ceramics works with exotic ceramic materials, silicon nitride being one of them. I have one here to show you. This is a component that was designed and made to measure speed. This was the only material that would work. Here's the working end of the component, it's along the blade, and it was very expensive to work with this material because the material is incredibly dense, one of the most dense ceramics. Many times we'll have a customer come to us with a component that they want to have manufactured. 
uh, that they have been using. We'll reverse engineer it for you. We'll send you a print to sign off on and we'll make a few prototypes so that you can try it out and see if it works in your equipment the way the previous parts have worked. Well, we do manufacture some standard components such as uh, rods, tubes, Crucibles. Uh, we also have substrates. This is a standard tube. We have extruded and cast tubes. We have standoffs, which we make in alumina and steatite. And here is a bearing we make in zirconia and alumina as well. And we also do fasteners, washers, and nuts and bolts. And the way you would go about getting these would be visiting our website where you can start your purchase on our site or give us a call and we'll be happy to help you. So an interesting solution to a recent problem that we came across with one of our customers. They are buying lots of ceramic components and they wanted a way to identify them. We have the capability to laser scribe serial numbers onto components so it's traceable. The benefits of glazing um, are very diverse. A lot of times people will need uh, a smooth surface and when we paint our glaze on and we fire it on it gives a beautiful glass surface that can do a few different things. That can help with a surface finish. It can also help with electrical isolation properties. And when you machine it green, it's the absolute best way to go. To machine it green. Machine it green. Machine it green.com. We want to make your products. <laughs>